what are the most important test metrics that you track? The most important test metrics that I track include defect density, test coverage, test execution progress, and test effectiveness ratio. I also track metrics related to test automation, such as test automation coverage, test automation effectiveness, and test automation ROI. How do you use test metrics to improve the quality of testing? I use test metrics to identify areas where testing can be improved and to track progress over time. For example, if defect density is high, it may indicate a need for more rigorous testing or additional test cases. Similarly, if test coverage is low, it may indicate a need for additional tests or more detailed requirements. By tracking these metrics, I can identify trends and patterns and make data-driven decisions to improve testing processes. What is the importance of setting realistic targets for test metrics? Setting realistic targets for test metrics is critical because it provides a benchmark for evaluating testing performance. Unrealistic targets can result in testing teams feeling demotivated or overwhelmed, which can lead to decreased quality or productivity. Realistic targets help to ensure that testing efforts are focused and measurable, and that teams have a clear understanding of what is expected of them. How do you ensure that test metrics are accurate and reliable? To ensure that test metrics are accurate and reliable, I follow standardized processes for data collection and analysis. I also ensure that all stakeholders have access to the same data, so there is consistency in the interpretation of the results. Additionally, I validate metrics regularly to ensure that they are relevant and useful.